Hi, I'm Nina with Avid Armor, and today we are going to be unpacking our AVS 7900 vacuum sealer. It's our starter model, super simple to use, but we'll go ahead and get started. All right, once your sealer is unpacked, go ahead and plug in the power cord and we'll get started sealing our very first vacuum bag. Today we're going to be sealing our avocado. Go ahead and lift the lid and you're gonna place the opening of your vacuum bag in the vacuum channel smoothly across the seal bar. And then all you have to do is lower the lid, make sure to snap it down in place and press your auto vacuum seal button. During the auto vacuum and seal cycle, the LED indicator lights will show the progress of the vacuum cycle. Once they turn off, your vacuum cycle is complete and you can remove your bag. And you'll see you have a nice, complete seal all the way across. And now your bag is ready for storage. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make custom bag sizes using a vacuum sealer roll. The cool thing is the AVS 7900 does come with a bag cutter. So it is located underneath the lid in a hidden little storage compartment. And this is to cut your material off of the roll. So we'll go ahead and measure out the length of bag that you'll, you're gonna need for your food item. And then you'll just use the cutter to slice across the bag all the way across. Once you have your bag material cut, now all we have to do is put a seal on it to make a bag. So place the opening of the bag across the seal bar, close the lid, and then just press the seal button. Once the LED progress lights turn off, you know that your seal is done and you can open the lid. And you can see how you have a nice seal on your bag. Now, once you have the initial seal on the bag, it's ready to be vacuum sealed. One of the features of this vacuum sealer is the pulse function. This is going to allow you to vacuum seal delicate items and do a manual vacuum on it so you don't crush the item that you're vacuum sealing. We're gonna go ahead and show you this by vacuum sealing this squishy avocado. I'm gonna open the lid. Place the opening of your bag into the vacuum channel, smooth across the seal bar. Close the lid, and then you're gonna press the pulse function, and then you're gonna release it, and then press it in to control the vacuum. Once you've reached your desired level of vacuum, you're gonna go ahead and press the seal button. Once it's complete, you can go ahead and remove the bag and you'll notice that it has a vacuum on it, but it's not enough to crush it. The next feature is the canister function. This is going to allow you to vacuum seal external canisters using the accessory port. Now the hose and the canister do not come with the 7900, but they can be purchased separately. So we'll go ahead and grab the hose and you're going to plug it into the accessory port and then plug the other end into your canister. And depending on your canister, you'll want to make sure that uh, the dial is rotated to the seal setting. And then all you have to do, make sure the lid is locked down and press the canister button. Once the machine stops and the LED indicator lights turn off, that means your uh, canister is vacuumed. You can remove your hose. If you wanna go ahead and vacuum seal another canister, you will have to lift up on the handle and lock it down again to do your next canister. The last feature is going to be your dry or moist food selection. You're going to wanna to adjust that depending on what your vacuum sealer to make sure you get the very best seal on your bag. That's it for the AVS 7900. Thank you for watching and welcome to the Avid Armor family.